Hey guys, today is uh, Monday, November the 28th of 2022. And I wanted to do a quick update on gold using some cycle analysis and GAN technique. So without any further delay, let's get into it. At some one request uh, an update on gold. So I figured I couldn't do it yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this morning before I uh, head out and do some uh, errands. Uh, I'm using data from uh, 2000 around there, September. This is a weekly chart. And uh, you know what? What's interesting here is that there's only just one important cycle here, and it's the uh, 245 cycle. And that's this one. On the bottom, that's the dominant cycle. That's the uh, 241. And what's interesting here is that the, uh, the cycle, the 245 cycle, uh, bottoms out December the 16th. Keep that in mind. That's very close to uh, December 21st. Change of season. So that's one of Gann's technique. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, the cycle is bottoming out here, and you know, we're finding a lot of buyers coming in already here. Could it be that the dominant cycle, which is the 241, is uh, getting buyers to come in? And maybe this is a swing low? I don't know. We'll see. We'll start looking at the evidence to see if this is the actual swing low or this further downside to come. There's other analysts I follow, uh, Charles uh, Nenner. He believes that. Uh, I believe he believes next year is where the gold cycle is going to bottom out and then it's going to go up. There's also uh, Martin Armstrong. He's another analyst. He has his own system and he also uh, is leaning towards next year gold bottoming out. So far, from what I see uh, on the weekly, maybe they have other things that they're looking at that I'm not aware of and I don't know. And I'm sure they probably got some other data and systems that you know they use but i'm going to look into it i just want to confirm make sure that you know i'm not saying something wrong but from what i can recollect i think they were leaning more like next year gold was going to bottom but either way just something for you to know and see other people's analysts uh, uh research and come to your own conclusion from what i'm seeing uh there's a bottom coming out uh a trough around december 16 and uh, the uh, dominant cycle, 241, is uh, bottoming out pretty much uh, this week, or just last week it just did, and gold just got a head, uh, head bounce here. So that's it for uh, the weekly chart. Let's look at the daily chart and see if we can get any clues in regards to uh, the cycles hitting a bottom and why price action is very strong. Okay, so this is the daily chart, and I'm using data from uh, pretty much uh, January of 2016 and on. And if we zoom in here, and we see a couple of things here. There's three cycles that are important, and then there's the dominant cycle. So we're going to start out with the biggest one. The biggest uh, cycle here is the 379, and that one uh, just hit a trough. So the cycle now on the daily is pointing up. So could this be the uh, culprit? We'll find out. Uh, but price action is uh, looking very bullish and very strong. Somebody's buying. Broke this trend line and it's above. So this is bullish. Uh, the next one is the uh, 223 on the daily chart. And you can see that we had a trough somewhere around September 15. And the cycle is pointing up and they hit a peak around January of next year. The uh, 379 uh, hit's going to hit up, well, hasn't developed yet, but I'm sure it's somewhere past April. The next cycle, which is the third important cycle on the daily chart, is the uh, 191. That one hit a trough somewhere around August 24th, and it's going to be hitting a peak in December 24th. So you got three that are pretty much uh, pointing up. If you do a composite of all uh, three, this is kind of what you get. Peaking around January, if you take the, the 191 and leave the other two, somewhere around February. So now I'm going to show you the dominant cycle, which is 103, but on the uh, spectrum extraction system, uh, I got as close as 101, but this is pretty much it. So we hit a trough somewhere around October 5th. We started kind of chopping around, and now it's going up and it hits a peak around December 10th. So take that one with the uh, 379, and this is kind of like the bullish uh, half 
at the uh, 223 and that's what's kind of looking like. Let me see, 273, 223 and the 191. Somewhere, yeah, December, January, February, it could be peaking up, but that's the daily. And what's the good thing is, is that the daily is pointing up. Take the uh, 101 off and this is what's going on. So let's look at seasonality and see what clues we could get there, confirming the cycles. Okay, so we have the seasonality here. This is the percent of months in which gold closed higher than it opened from 2018 to 2022. So that's a five year. You can see that December is very strong. November is weak. Uh, so as of right here, December is pretty strong and a little bit of January. We'll go straight to the 10 year. You can see that December is still strong and January is strong. So yeah, that makes sense with the cycles. And we could do 15. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's strong, not as strong using 15 year data, uh, but January strong. So it leads into January and then the 20 year, you can see that January is still strong. February is kind of flat and mm, December is a little stronger. So that's the, uh, seasonality in regards to gold. Let's look at some other seasonality charts in regards to dates and see what clues we could get there. Okay, so this is another seasonality chart that I use, and you can see that we made a low around November 3rd and haven't looked back. If we uh, add a five-year average in regards to seasonality, we see that uh, starting December 1st, uh, using the five-year, gold starts to rally, move higher. If we uh, put the 10-year somewhere around... December 1st, it kind of goes sideways, but around the 16th, uh, it starts going sideways and then starts moving up. It really starts moving on the 26th. So that could lead why January sometimes is strong. Uh, we had the uh, 15, which is this yellow one up here. It kind of peaks, which is interesting. And then it pulls back, and then somewhere around the 15, 16. It finds a low. So looking at all three uh, averages, five year is a bullish and we kind of got a head start. So if we kind of exhausted this move and it pulls back, then look into uh, around December the 16th or the 21st equinox or I mean a change of season uh, around there, if it pulls back for another probably buying opportunity using this, uh, this system. But if it's not gonna look back, and it's going to follow the five-year average, and it just got a head start. We know that the, the daily cycles are very bullish and are pointing up. It just hit troughs. But just keep in mind that the weekly cycles are still down uh, into December. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember if it was the 16th around there, uh, which kind of lines up with these uh, seasonality. So it's kind of mixed. It's like take the red pill or take the blue pill. You choose. But you have some data to back your, you know, your, uh, your, uh, decision. Let's uh, look at some other charts and see what we could extract from there. Okay, so here I have my uh, trading view chart and there's a couple of things I want to show you here. You see this move right here? Uh, this is the weekly chart. This took 34 uh, bars, pretty much 34 weeks to complete. And then you got this nice uh, bounce. Take this high from here and uh, move it here. That's 34 bars. Exactly. And then you got this bounce. You just got to measure, you know, this move from here, how long that took and see how long it's going to take this move and maybe mirror it over here. This is called measured moves. This is a technique I learned from Michael S. Jenkins. And uh, that was uh, not bad if you are playing this strategy right here. Uh, the good thing is that we are in the demand zone. So that means that there's uh, buyers coming in this area this is the uh, supply zone so if we ever get up there that's when you want to kind of unload unless you want you think gold is going to go higher uh, but this is where you will uh, uh, recoup some uh, profits and then kind of see what happens uh, in order for uh, us to uh, get a buy signal on the weekly we got to close above 1825 so far is below that there's no uh, buy signal the good thing is is that the MACD is positive it's crossed over you just got to see how long it's going to last Looking at the daily, 
Uh, we could take uh, maybe this thing off. Let me just move it to the side so I can see. Uh, the MACD is getting a little uh, crossover here. Just kind of hit the peak of the, uh, the demand zone and just kind of in chop fest here. This is kind of trend line that I'm watching. So it'll be interesting to see now that we got this little pullback. Got people that locked in profits thinking that's at the end. And then there's some that think maybe you know, there's going to be a pullback into December and then the rally. So that's all, all speculation, you know, remains to be seen. But if we could take out that, what's that high there, uh, 1791, uh, you're going to have uh, 1825, and then you're going to have uh, 1883, and obviously this trend line, and uh, somewhere around 1999. Yeah. So it's going to go, you know, in steps if it's going to follow the five year average. But know that the daily cycles are up. So there is a reason why price action is moving higher or at least, you know, in, 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 in hindsight of the cycles, there's a catalyst behind it. Okay, so this is our geometry chart and uh, I'm using the Adrian's pitchfork and you can see that we fell off a bit here off this angle. And these are extensions of this. Uh, angle so it's pretty much mirrored you can see that we were chopping around here we found support and now we got a nice little bounce off this angle so it'll be interesting to see if we could just hold this and maybe continue trending higher and get back to this original angle right here this is action reactions lines and you can see that we found support right here and this is from these two uh, pivot points uh, you can see that there's a uh, geometry now we're having resistance right here. So we could close above here and, you know, maybe have this as support on this wall. Maybe we could trend higher, but you know, that remains to be seen. You see the Dewey cycles, uh, you can see that the uh, Dewey cycle uh, average uh, composite is uh, pointing up. It kind of peaked here and it pulls back down. That's around December 14, then it goes up. And it goes down. So we'll see how this is going to play out. But the uh, GAN swing is positive, and the uh, advanced GAN swing is positive too. So looks like things could be uh, starting to move here. Oh, well, that's looking good. Uh, this is uh, something I use for timing. So, timing wise, uh, this was uh, December 16th. So, yeah, look at that right there. Um, average, uh, I think the uh, the 10 and the uh, 15 average low. So if this pulls back, this could be a turning point around the uh, change of season. And if it goes up, maybe it could stall up here. Uh, you know, it depends. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of moving parts. And the cycles hit peaks on December and January. And the composites even push to uh, February. Using the GAN swing from these uh, swing points, you can see that we hit the... Uh, one half up here of 1785 and kind of stall pulled back and found support at this uh, pivot 1729 and now pushing up probably might hit that and then the next target would probably be the uh, 1813 which would be this uh, swing high right up here found support at this uh low over here you're using the fibonacci uh retracement uh 382 would be 1825 so that would be your first target if we get up there and I, I think that's it. I think I'm going to wrap this video up. I don't want to make it too long, but, you know, so far it's looking good. If we pull back um, and you were thinking about what going long, uh, and if it pulls back, it could be a head fake. It could be a bear trap and wait for like the 16th around that week, 16, 17, you know, 15, 21st. And if it starts, you know, showing pr uh, price action going up, then that could be another nice entry to ride this wave, but if it doesn't look back and we take out that uh, high right here, then it's going to probably want to push higher. I'm going to sign out. Hope you liked this video. I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on gold using double again, pricing time, technical analysis.